Welcome to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower, brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Now, here's your host, David Brower. Thanks, Alan. This is David Brower with your 20-minute podcast, and our special guest today is Scott Ayers from Texas, beautiful downtown Texas. And Scott's the co author of Facebook, All in One for Dummies. He's a podcast host for Social Media Lab, uh, powered by Agora Pulse. Is that how you say that? Agora Pulse? Yeah, that's correct. Cool. And he's written over 2,000 blog posts on social media topics. And um, Scott, welcome to the show, man. Glad you're here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. It's a nice, you know, 70 degrees in Texas today. We don't get this very much. So we, this is cold weather for us. Yeah, we're, we're having fall here in Colorado. I had to put on a sweatshirt yesterday, but it, then it's, <laughs> then it's going to go back to 80 on the weekend. So yeah. I understand what you're saying. Well, I it really intrigued about talking with you because so many people want to use uh, or feel they need to use social media uh, in their business world to help grow their business and all that. But there's a lot of myths out there about that. There's a lot of second guessing. There's a lot of, I wish I could have, should have. Tell, tell us how you got started in, in all this and, and how you help people. Um, well, I mean, as far as getting uh, our, for the social media lab, you know, we've been doing this project. I keep calling it a project. I probably should quit saying that. It's not really a project. It's my full-time thing now. Uh, we, we've been doing the social media lab now for, we started publishing in August of last year, 2017. Um, I came on board in January of 2017. It took us about eight months to finally launch it. Um, the, the whole idea and premise of it is we wanted to put out some information about social media marketing that was based on on data instead of just opinions or, or thoughts. Um, because a lot of what's out there by you know the quote unquote gurus, it, it hasn't been tested thoroughly enough. Yeah, uh, and I was guilty of that. I mean, like you mentioned before, I, you know, I've written literally two thousand blog posts about social media over the last eight nine years. You know, working for other app companies, and, and through that process, most of those were those quick one off kind of. You know, here's the five best things to post. Oh yeah, here's the best time to post on social media. Here's this sure, and that. sure. None of it was tested. It was really just my opinion. Yeah, um, and granted, it was my opinion based on what I saw. You know, working for my accounts, but never really applied data to it, and so. You know, our, our CEO said, hey, we, we want to do something different. We want to be known for something different. Um, our, our blog itself, we have a regular blog that does those sort of, you know, how-to sort of posts. Um, and they do very well. And that blog has been named the top 10 of social media examiners yearly list that they do. Um, but we want to do something a little different with it. And so it, it's been an interesting task so far. Um spending lots of money, you know, running <laughs> ads or paying for organic, you know, doing the organic test. And, you know, my full-time work is, is just running these tests and doing our social media, which is part of the test. Um, and and it's, it's different for anything I've done. So the website is agorapulse.com, and you've got a free trial opportunity there, a 90-second video people can watch. You've got yeah. uh, ways to help people with all the different social media from Twitter to Instagram to Google Plus, YouTube, you name it. And a lot of solutions uh, for different types of use, agencies, small teams, uh, large teams, customer service, small business. How do, you, how do you qualify people that you think will make a, a great fit with you? Um, for the app, there's a, there's a lot of different uses. Like you said, it could be small businesses. It could be agencies. It, you know, it could be large corporations. Um, typically, our, our, our main clients tend to be agencies who are doing social media for other mm -hmm. businesses or those larger corporations for a small business, though, you still can use it. If you're just a, you know, a solopreneur um, and you've got a couple of social media accounts, you want to schedule content, you want to manage the, the flow and you know, input, you know, influx of, of comments and replies and messages, you can do all that in there. But we really kind of lean ourselves a little bit more towards those with, you know, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, a hundred, you know, profiles are trying to manage. Gotcha. Uh, because th that, that's a daunting task for anybody who's trying to do that on the social platforms. Right. Uh, and so that's really where our solution comes in, I think, the most. It's probably for those large ones. Now, we do have a lot of smaller businesses, though, um, who use us and love us, and they just use it for their own stuff. But um, I think most of our clients tend to be that mid-range and up. That makes sense because, it w I mean, once you get past four or five 
I don't even know what the number is, but I would think once you get past four or five, it becomes, uh, it starts to become daunting. And by the time you get to the big numbers, yeah. it's like, oh my God, how do I do this? You, it's not like you can yeah. hire three or four millennials to come in and take, take it over <laughs> for you, you know? No, and, you know, and, and now everything's a lot more sophisticated and, and moves faster and, and there's, there's a lot more coming in. You've got to be very active in the conversations you're, that are, people are having about you. Um, and directed towards you. And so we have lots of customers who've got, you know, 10, 20 team members who are handling social media. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's a big thing when you, when you get larger, you can't do it on the platforms themselves because you'll miss 90% of that conversation. Gotcha. On the, uh, looking at the free tools that you have there, it's a, a Facebook page barometer, a Twitter report card, mm-hmm. a Facebook page contest. Uh, tell me about those things, those tools, and how they uh, how they help uh, agencies and other businesses uh, improve their social media stuff. The biggest two that I would say are probably the biggest. So the contest thing is kind of a little, you can run on these timeline. It'll help you pick winners if you do these timeline contests on Facebook. They're not as popular these days as they used to be. Right. Um, but the barometer is a really intriguing tool that we created a few years ago um, that's absolutely free to connect to. Um, you can go right on our main website and find it in the foot, you know, I think in the footer and the free tools. Yeah. Um, you, you connect your Facebook page to it and basically we'll weigh it against the, the other about 30,000 pages that have connected to the app to kind of compare your, your reach, your engagement levels, those sort of things. Um, and it's neat to go look at because it lets us also see what the trends are. And we just, you know, we just kind of wrote about some that here recently about, you know, is reach dropping really? And we found out, yeah, it really was probably, you know, 12, 15% lower this year than it was last year overall. But it, it does let you compare. So for some pages, you go compare yourself. Cause you may be sitting there going, man, I can't get any engagement on my Facebook business page. I've got no, you know, reach, you know, woe is me. But then you pop it into like this barometer and compare it to other pages your size and you might be doing really well. You I'll never know. Yeah. Um, and so it's kind of a cool way to, to go in and compare yourself to a similar size pages is the whole idea with it. That's a cool idea, and it's free. Yeah, yeah, 100% yeah. free. So you just go to uh, agoraplus.com, free tools, click on the Get My Facebook Barometer Score, and uh, it takes you right there, and you connect uh, with your Facebook fan page, business page. Uh, well, that's fascinating. I'm going to do that when we get done. I'm, you got me curious yeah, sure. now. <laughs> <laughs> So what else? What else do you do to help uh, agencies and 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 businesses uh, grow their business? I guess and get their get their names and, and brand out there to help increase the bottom line. Well, I mean, for for my portion of what I do at Agora Pulse with the lab, that you know, my goal is, is to run these experiments and, and test all these different social media practices. That way, you don't have to waste the time to do it. Um, you don't have to you know spend tons of hours and and or dollars on a tactic that's just simply not is going to be a waste of your time. And so that's yeah. kind of what we've kind of set out to do is to kind of, instead of, you know, starting a race at zero miles per hour, you're starting at maybe 50 miles per hour. Gotcha. You know, you're, you're kind of already running full speed. You don't have to, you know, do all the hard work and waste the time. I and mean, a lot of times with, you know, when, cause I do social media myself and the hardest part is you don't always have the time to test. Yeah. Uh, because you're, especially if you're doing clients, you just got to get to work and you got to hope this works. Well, yeah. And when you're, when you're starting out, you don't know what you don't know. And so to be able to, yeah. right. Yeah. So to be, and you, so then you are, you're just, I mean, it's like a shotgun approach. Okay. I'm just going to throw everything out there and see what sticks. Yeah. But without the data, you don't even know from that what's going to stick. So be able to be able to come to you guys and, and literally get a running start on this is that's a, that's a cool deal. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, I mean, I haven't either. Like I said, I've been in social media for, for quite a while, and everybody kind of does the – a lot of a lot of the people out there who are teaching social media, and they're friends of mine, you know, they've, they're they basing their, their their product, their courses off of what worked for them, but it doesn't always work for everybody. Right, uh, right. And so what we've kind of tried to do is in all of our testing, whether we're testing Instagram hashtags or LinkedIn hashtags or, you know, live video on Facebook, whatever it might be, you know, we, we want to we kind of try to use a, a cross section of different types of, of pages. So that might be, you know, our, our big software page. I have a local business page in Texas I use. I use my personal profile, multiple Twitter accounts sometimes on Twitter. Um, and so we're kind of trying to get a cross section. Then we can go, okay, well, here's an average from all these pages. 
in this test from various industries. So this is going to give us a better idea of what should work for everybody. Because um, if you just base it off your one page, you just may have, you know, the unicorn page that does well with that sort of content and nobody yeah. else does. Yeah. Or exactly. vice versa. You may perform horribly on it and everybody else is doing great. So that that's the problem I've seen for years from all those who are teaching social media marketing. They're basing all of their conclusions on what worked for them as a personality and, you know, this, you know, celebrity, if you'll call it that. Sure, sure. Um, and that's so different for people here in the trenches doing social media for a real business. Man, absolutely right. Absolutely right. What? So when your boss came to you and said, hey, we're going to do this differently, did you go, oh, my God, what, what are we going to do? Well, I was hired on to do it, so okay, I was cool. expecting it. Right. Uh, yeah, he actually is kind of funny. I worked for another company before called Post Planner. They're, they're a scheduling tool for, for social media. Worked for them about three and a half years. And, and Emmerich, our CEO for Agora Pulse, he had tried to recruit me a couple of times. And I told him no. And then uh, I finally left that position and then took kind of a furlough from social media for about six months. And, you know, he, he'd hit me up once or twice. And then I, I hit him up once. Hey, are you looking to hire? And he's like, well, <laughs> yeah, I actually had this, had this interesting opportunity. And he kind of told me this is, and this is a, our company is based out of Paris, France. Okay. Um, and, and we all work remotely around the globe. And there's about 10 to 12, I believe, that work in the Paris offices. Um, all of our marketing team is in the U.S. Uh, and so he, he's like, you know, we've been looking for this person. And it's a French saying, it's called a five-legged goat. Really? And I'm like, what is, what's a five-legged yeah. goat? But it's, it's basically like the equivalency of a unicorn. You know, there's this odd, rare thing that you don't see very often. Okay. You can't find it. So, he said, I've been looking for a five-legged goat who can come in and be our guy to run these detailed experiments, who has the time and the knowledge to do it, um, is willing to tackle it because it's going to be different than anything else. And so I'm like, I'm game. Um, and, you know, I had, I had to run it. You know, I, they made me run a, a test experiment for them uh, before they'd hired me on. I had to compete against somebody else. And, and you know, they chose mine over yeah. over another one. And, and we've been running since then. I love it. The company. How fun. You know, yeah. it's a really cool company. You know, like I said, based out of Paris, it's, you know, bootstrap, we've never taken any sort of venture capital. Um, and we've got 3,500, 4,000 customers, I believe, paying customers, somewhere around there. Um, and the company is very healthy, 42, 43 employees, I believe. Wow. Um, and and our, our, our CEO and our, and our co-founder, Ben, you know, he's our, our CTO. You know, their, their whole goal is just to, you know, they want to build a good product for one, obviously. Right. Um, but the product's not the end result. The product, what their real end result is, they want to they want to work with other people they really love and love their families and you know and can make their lives better. Um, they're not going to be millionaires. None of us are. Um, and so it's just more of a hey, he want you know, Emmerich and Ben wanted to work with people that they they loved and love being around. And they've kind of built a company around it. So it's um, I got to go to Paris and finally meet all of them this summer, and, and it was. You know, I could see that in the company. So it kind of makes me excited to work for them. Just because, oh, my gosh. You know, that they're is, real people. It's just, you know, down there. That over, is so rare. Uh, it is. It really is. And, you know, especially in this space, in the tech space, where it's yeah. cutthroat. And, you know, we Emmerich's gone out there and hired people that weren't necessarily maybe a good fit for that position, but he knew they were moldable. Yeah. And he could he could turn them into that best customer support or whatever. Right. Um, just because he wanted them on their team, on his team, because they're a good person. Um, and, and then we, he does it a lot. He obviously had you on his radar for quite a while. Yeah. Like I said, we've been friends for a long time online and, uh, I finally gave in to him. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't regret it whatsoever. I, was, I mean, I, I love the guy. Uh, we have a lot of fun, even though we're, you know, across the sure. globe from each other. So do you have a uh, do you have a five legged uh, goat T shirt that you wear? Or? I should, I should. Yeah. What's funny <laughs> is yesterday we have a uh, we have a weekly um, video conference at the company. Like okay. We all get on one video conference and, and and talk about the updates of the app and the company. And I'm I'm the guy who's you know been goofy lately, wearing goofy hats and stuff in the meeting just to liven it up. Sure. Um, because part of the branding for Social Media Lab is we have this character we call him Pat. Uh, he's wearing, he's got crazy orange hair and has a lab coat on. Nice. And I actually one day showed up in our video meeting with the orange wig and the lab coat on and it kind of caught on from everybody. And so I'm just showing up with goofy hats every week, but this week we got our CEO to put on a unicorn mask <laughs> uh, in the middle of the meeting. And it was so him and I, I'm, I'm wearing this crazy hat with like these wires sticking off of it and wearing yeah. an orange clown nose and he's in the unicorn 
mask and stuff wow. on his video. So it was pretty fun. I think we posted it on Instagram. Was, what an amazing uh, environment to work in. I mean, to yeah, to, just the fun people. I yeah. mean, so they've got a foosball table in the offices, and they hang out and have parties. And of course, it's Paris, and so they enjoy their wine. Well, sure, um, sure. <laughs> no question. But it, it but it breathes uh, integrity. It breathes loving other yeah. people. It breathes doing all these things for the right reasons. And that, I mean, that alone is so rare, no matter what the industry. It is, you know, and, and the people that I work with, you know, we, we share our personal ups and downs and what's going on in our personal lives. And, you know, we truly do, even though we're coworkers and we're right. across, I don't, you know, I'm sitting in my living room right now. I don't see any of them personally right now, right. but you know, I care about what's going on with them because we do have a really good connection and a good camaraderie. Um, and anybody that comes on new on board, it's just kind of the same thing immediately. Uh, because of that culture that Emmerich and Ben started when they started yeah. the company, you know, eight, nine years ago. Wow. I got goosebumps, man. That is, uh, it's so rare and so exciting to hear about that kind of environment, especially uh, from so far away from the main office, but yet you yeah. have people all around the world, but yet with with uh, the way, way you can connect with everybody now, you really can be right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but working remote is pretty, it's, 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 you know, it's, I think right now in the U.S., was it? Or they're predicting like 40, 45% of the yeah. U.S. Yep. You know, work base will work remotely at some point or, or to some degree. Yeah. Um, and it's what I've been doing now for, gosh, at least eight years now. Um, yeah. I don't know any other way at this point. They did those, they didn't do my kids. My kids are used to me being at home. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've been working from home since, uh, what, 2000, 2010, May of 2010. Yeah. And, um, I, you know, I tell everybody I meet, I'm going, I never want a real job again. This is like, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can sit here. I, I sat here earlier this morning and watch the documentary on Netflix in my living room while I work. Right. Know, kind of right. Like. I love it, man. <laughs> so if people want to get a hold of you, agencies want to get a hold of you, mid-sized companies, people that have a lot of profiles on all the different, uh, social media from, YouTube to Facebook to Instagram to Twitter to on and on and on. What's the best way to for them to get in touch with you or get in touch with your company and see how you can put together a, possibly a meaningful uh, relationship? Yeah, you can just you can find our app at you can connect to it at agorapulse.com. dot com. It's a g o r a pulse p u l s e dot com. You can you can connect for a free trial there, um, and you can find us anywhere on social media. We're at Agora Pulse. And if you, if you want to read about the experiments that we're doing on social media, we kind of have a, a room in the house is what I call it. Um, we're on agorapulse.com forward slash social media lab is where you'll find me. Oh, okay. I got it. And that's where, uh, that's the address for your podcast. Yep. Yep. Very cool. So Facebook, uh, Agora Pulse, Twitter, Agora Pulse, Instagram, Agora Pulse, YouTube, Agora Pulse for Facebook. LinkedIn, Agora Pulse, uh, the website, of course, agorapulse.com, and the podcast to learn more about the social media lab is agorapulse.com slash social media lab. So tons of ways to get a hold of these folks. Lots of free tools on that website uh, that you should check out because if you're like me, you don't know what you don't know, and there may be an epiphany there where you go, ooh, let's do that, you know? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. That's exciting, man. Congratulations, uh, first and foremost, to be able to work at home and enjoy your life and have a have a job that you enjoy. I mean, we there isn't anybody on the planet that wouldn't like that kind of deal, you know? Yeah, I said it sometimes, especially being in a small town in Texas, it's, I'm kind of that, you know, you come about a five-legged goat. You know, I, I tell people where I, you know, that live around me in a small town of 6,000 sure. sure. what I do for a living, and they look at me like, what? <laughs> uh, so it's, it's definitely a blessing because, I couldn't do what I do and get the, you know, the, um, the amenities that I get with this job, anything locally. Right. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's a, it's a fun thing. So if anybody has an opportunity to work for a company remotely, I say go for it. Absolutely. Um, it's right. a lot of fun. Hey Scott, it's been a real treasure, man. Thank you so much. Again, he's the co-author of Facebook all in one for dummies. He has a podcast for social media lab. Uh, that we talked about. And uh, so check him out. It's uh, I'm excited for you. I'm glad you're having a good time. And I want to go, I'm going to go run a, I'm going to go run my Facebook uh, fan page on there and see what it tells me. Yeah, do it. Do it.
<laughs> All right. Take care, man. Great to visit with you. All right. You too. Your 20-minute podcast with David Brower has been brought to you by Audible. You can listen to any of David's podcasts anywhere podcasts can be found, including iHeartRadio, the Spotify mobile app, and at davidbrowervo.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, thanks for listening.